We're moving so fast. <laughs> we are moving. Hey guys, Dustin here, and today we have something a little bit different. Uh, I want to see if we can row a canoe with recoil. So what we have is the M16 machine gun, and we're going to see if this will be like our machine gun motor for this bad boy. I remember playing around with the same theory when I was a little guy, like with a leaf blower and a skateboard. But I can't remember what happened. I can't remember if I, I, I know I ran out of extension cord, so I can't, so we're gonna video it just so we know what's up. Uh, we're gonna start with nine millimeter, and then we're gonna go up to 223 and 300 blackout, 458 SOCOM, and a couple other different things, and just see if it makes a difference on how much it uh, transfers to the boat. But to make sure that it transfers all the energy to the boat, we have the Caldwell Hydro Sled here. Now they sent this to me to, to play with. I've been, I've been using it properly up till now. You know, it's a bench rest thing, so you can fill it up with like four 40 pounds of sand and you know water or whatever and you've got all your adjustments here and it takes a lot of the human element out of it lets you wreak the most accuracy out of your gun but it was also a great way to just attach a gun to a canoe so that's what we're doing today um i guess that's about all there is to it let's shut up and shoot first up this is actually the psa nine millimeter i figured it would have the most blowback or you know impulse uh rather than my banshee like I said, M16 lower. We're using the Endomax. This is the very first test, test shot. I've cycled it, and it's cycled five times, so we'll see if it works. Cody is my co-pilot, and he will rescue me if the my contraption traps me and I can't get out in the canoe capsizes. Yay! Three, two, one. <laughs> nice! Okay, we're still rowing. We're st that's still energy. Wow! Dang! It's oh. pushing. It's slow push, but there we go. Well, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, that did something. Let's try again. 9 millimeter worked. It was a slow push, but we got some momentum and we kept going even, so that was cool. Now we have 223. And uh, 223 we've got, uh, earlier that was Angel Fire 115 grain ammo. This is Angel Fire 55 grain ammo in this big old honking <laughs> Pro Mag uh, 65 round drum. So we might make it across the pond this time if it all runs well. I found these at Gun Mag Warehouse for 69 bucks for 65 rounds. I thought that was pretty cool. We'll see if it runs. 223 time. Three. Two, one. Oh my gosh! We're moving so fast! We're moving so fast! <laughs> and a little bit crooked and hit a log. Alright, 223 did pretty good. So it makes me excited. How much more will 300 Blackout go? So 300 Blackout, this is a 150 grain, maybe 147 from American Marksman. Uh, 65 round drum again. No clue if it's going to work. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah uh, I like my, uh, reloading 300 Blackout, so I got my uh, little uh, brass catcher on. That's what that little thing in my bob is. Shut up and shoot. Three, two, one. No, my brass catcher! No! <laughs> It's gone! Oh, my breast catcher! All right, those fancy 65 round mags did not like the 300 blackout ammo, so where Cody wants to do the gunner seat, we got a 30 round mag of that uh, 300 blackout. And did you see I lost my brass catcher? <laughs> yeah, it went sideways. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay, go to fire. Click, click, fire! We're moving now. <laughs> Got a little bit of speed. Almost, almost. We're going to hit shore again. All right, now it's AK-47 time. Cody loves th this. is a PSA K-47, so I know it's going to run. It's not full auto, but we're going to see what Cody can do and just how fast he can pull that trigger. Are you ready, bud? Yep. All right. AK time. All right, bud. So you got to charge it. Yep, charge it. And... Yeah. Ready? Ready to roll. <laughs> Hit. Yeah, that's it. That's 30. <laughs> We're moving. We're moving. It's moving. I guess it's all bigger than 9 millimeter, but it's not like it's magically more recoil and pushing us further. Let's keep going. 
All right, this one may not look like much, but what we have, 458 SOCOM, that's a 500 grain round there. I think it's pushing 1300 feet per second. I can't exactly remember. The point is, if the mag feeds completely, because that's the hard part is the magazines on these are kind of iffy and I'm just using a regular mag. Uh, Tromix, they're the ones who sent me that upper. They make a special magazine follower that would make it more reliable, but I didn't get it, I, I didn't order it in time. So we're gonna just uh, see what this does. But the point is, if all 14 or 13 rounds goes off, that's a pound, 500 grains a piece. That's a pound of lead that we're gonna send. I think we're gonna move the boat big time this time, which is why I put an extra ratchet strap on the front of the gun because yeah, we just, we just let it rock. Let's go. I gotta aim for that tree again. I peppered it with the blackout. Oh, wow. You see it? <laughs> okay, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to shove us that way. All right, right when that tree comes into view, it gets to die some more. There it is. Good, that went good. I I expected more speed. We emptied the mag too. This thing ran like a champ. And that was $14 in brass we just put at the bottom of the lake since I lost my brass catcher. Oh. Not magical, because that's where we'd always end up, was right there. So it's about the same, which means we need to try something different. <laughs> We're done with the full auto uppers. We have Benelli M2 shotgun, 11 rounds of one ounce slug. So almost a pound. 458 would weight a little more. These are running 1600 feet per second. We'll see what it does. I gotta get in line with my tree again. Hold on. <laughs> Look at all of them. <laughs> That's funny. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes floating. We're moving good. It did good. It did good. We got some movement out of that one. We're going farther than we did. Yeah, we are. We're, it's got a nice, it's got a good bit of momentum. And we had two or three jams. Uh, we're almost out, out of rope. <laughs> okay, the 12 gauge did really well. We're gonna hold on to our rope before we lose it. That's cool. Doesn't mean we stop here though. So don't judge me by my discreet guitar case. This is uh, from Cedar Mills and it's just an awesome way to carry around. Yes, awesomeness. So I've got uh, 168 grains of Angel Fire 308 right here. White label armory, top shot tree service. We're going to remove the muzzle brake because we don't want any of that recoil, you know, mitigation. We want full recoil into our hydro sled, into our boat, into that tree. Make it in into energy and water in this rowing. Let's do it. Ready, set. I could just feel it start moving though. We're trucking along good. Okay, that was pretty good. That was a good one. That's almost shotgun good. Awesome. And a stick about to poke your arm. <laughs> that was a good one. Okay, we, well, if I let it go, we're gonna bottom out on that rope again. Uh, snake in the tree, snake in the tree. Okay. That's not a snake. All right, now I'm not sure how well a bolt gun will work, but we're gonna run it as fast as I can. I think I have six rounds in that magazine. I have these Copper Sig 165 grain. So it's kind of a shame to shoot a premium ammo like this just out of a tree in a pond to make it row, but we're gonna do it anyway. Let's do it. We're moving. It's not near as impressive as before, though. Right. We're not going to bottom out this rope at all. Yeah, bolt action kind of me. We're done with that. Let's upgrade. <laughs> can can in time. These have a bit of recoil because they're pushing a lot of weight out. So we got a 12 ounce soda we're going to put in the top. Shoots off with blanks. We might as well try it and see what happens, right? Yo! Woo! <laughs> that was pretty good. I've never fast fired that. That's kind of fun. Uh, it's not near 308, not near 12 gauge, but uh, 
It worked. It worked. You knew it was coming, right? 50 BMG time. Can it motor my canoe? Now, I just figured out I had a 50 caliber hole in my pocket. Look, check that out. All right, we have the, uh, the M33 from American Marksman. So it's the ch most affordable stuff I can find. It's like $2.50 a round. We're just gonna shoot until I don't feel like shooting anymore. All right, you ready for this madness? Crazy. <laughs> yes, this is crazy. All right, I don't know what, okay, maybe I can, maybe I can be a magazine over here. And a trigger finger right here. I don't know what's gonna happen, let's just do it. Oh, whoa, look at the... It was... Ew, there's, there's like a film on the water in there. Yeah. Know what you mean? Yeah, we left the film on the water. All right, well, we made it all the way to our tree stump over here. So oh. It, it did the same. Some of that ejected brass got my finger. Oh. That was cool, though. All right, let's, uh, let's change it up. That recoil wasn't bad. We're going to change it. Oh. All right, we're getting a little crazy because we took off this muzzle brake. It looks so huge. Well, because it is. You saw what it would do to the water. And we just put on that little one. So, Innovative Arms sent me a suppressor. Uh, there's a review on it. And this is the brake that goes with it. It's because it's got to fit inside a suppressor. But I figure it's smaller. It can't be as effective. We're going to see if it makes a difference. Okay, tiny muzzle brake. <laughs> Never done this before. Oh, no. Here we go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you feel it? Oh, that was awesome! <laughs> <laughs> we are moving! I don't know how many rounds that was. It was this many rounds. Okay, that one wins. That one wins. We're about to bottom our rope out and it's going to even pop us a little. 50 cal for the win again. Nice! All right, guys. So I guess that about wraps it up today. And it was as much fun as I thought it would be. So if you ever find yourself, you know, up a creek without a paddle, but you have a gun, you'll be in, be in good shape. So always keep a gun on you, right? And so shout out to our sponsor, BigDaddyUnlimited.com. If you go to BigDaddyUnlimited.com slash Dustin, you can save 20% on more on guns and ammo and optics and parts and even suppressors and lots of fun stuff. So BigDaddyUnlimited.com slash Dustin. It's only 99 cents to try it out for the first month. And you're never going to quit though, because you're going to be saving so much money on other stuff. So remember to like, subscribe, share the video and all that good stuff. Sign up for notifications. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye. Did you see that? Going to a thousand! Whoo! I came in like a wrecking ball! Come on, Nasser! Come on, Nasser! Yeah!